Imagine gazing up at the night sky and finding that no matter which direction you peer, the glow of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, is almost exactly the same temperature within a few millionths of a degree. That uniform glow is surprising because the universe's patches, separated by vast distances, never had time to swap information or even things out before sending their light our way. So, why is the cosmos so smooth? What's the horizon problem, anyway? Picture two towns at opposite ends of a continent, each baking bread. If they never traded ovens or recipes, you'd expect different crusts and flavors. Yet when we measure the CMB from opposite sides of the sky, it tastes identical. In the early universe, light could only travel about a couple of hundred thousand light years before the cosmos became transparent. Yet today, those same regions lie more than 90 billion light years apart. They simply didn't have time to chat and equalize their temperatures before decoupling. A distant regions coordinate intercosmic inflation. Question, could the universe have blown up like a balloon all at once? Answer, almost, but much, much faster. In the first trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, space itself stretched exponentially, expanding by a factor of at least 10 to the power of 26. Before inflation, a tiny patch, smaller than an atom, contained the seeds of our entire observable universe. In that microscopic realm, everything was in close contact, exchanging heat and energy until it was nearly uniform. Then inflation blew that perfectly mixed patch up to cosmic scales, carrying its even temperature across regions that now sit light years beyond each other's reach. But wait, isn't inflation a bit magical? It feels that way, but inflation also explains why the CMB isn't perfectly smooth. Tiny quantum jitters in that pre-inflation patch were stretched out along with space. These microscopic fluctuations became slight density variations, over densities here, under densities there, that later grew under gravity into galaxies, clusters, and the vast cosmic web. Without inflation, we'd have no graceful way to get from a nearly featureless fireball to the rich structure we observe in the night sky. What powered this rapid expansion? Scientists believe inflation was driven by a scalar field with a high energy density, often called the inflaton. While the inflaton field dominated, its repulsive gravity drove space to expand faster than light. Then, As the field decayed, inflation ended. It dumped its energy into particles and radiation, reheating the universe and launching the standard Big Bang evolution. What if inflation didn't happen? Without that super fast growth spurt, the universe would look wildly different. Distant regions would bear no resemblance to one another, and the CMB would be modeled with temperature swings of tens of degrees instead of millionths. Galaxies might never form because there'd be no primordial blueprint of density fluctuations to seed structure. Why does this matter? Because the universe's smoothness is our clue to its secret origin story. Inflation turns an unsolvable how did distant parts agree puzzle into a natural consequence of a blisteringly fast growth spurt driven by fundamental physics. It reshapes our story of the cosmos from a cold, static void to a dynamic arena where space itself took center stage, stretching, smoothing, and planting the quantum whispers that would become everything we see today. Understanding inflation brings us one step closer to answering the deepest questions. How did it all begin, and what mysterious forces shape our universe's fate? The universe, on large scales, looks remarkably uniform in temperature and density across regions that should be causally disconnected. This uniformity is most clearly observed in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which shows temperature fluctuations of only one part in 100,000. However, in a standard Big Bang framework without any additional mechanisms, regions separated by more than the cosmological horizon could never have exchanged information or energy. This creates the horizon problem. How did these far-apart regions equilibrate their physical properties? 
Without communication, smoothness seems improbable. Example, the CMB radiation from opposite sides of the sky has nearly identical temperatures despite being over 90 billion light years apart. Analogy, it's like finding two cups of coffee across the galaxy at exactly the same temperature, even though they've never touched or exchanged heat. Cosmic inflation proposes that a tiny region of space underwent exponential expansion in a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. During this inflationary period, quantum fluctuations were stretched across vast distances, imprinting the seeds of structure we see today. Because the entire observable universe originated from this once inflated patch, its properties were homogenized before inflation blew it up. This solves the horizon problem by allowing all regions to have once interacted. The rapid stretching explains why the universe now appears flat and smooth. Example, inflation predicts the same pattern of tiny temperature fluctuations across the CMB sky, which matches observations. Analogy, it's like printing a detailed pattern on a balloon and then inflating it until the balloon is the size of a planet. Every part shares the same original design. Quantum fluctuations during inflation are random, but follow a predictable statistical distribution. These fluctuations, once stretched across cosmic distances, give rise to both uniformity and small inhomogeneities that became galaxies and clusters. The near-perfect balance between these uniform and irregular patterns is a remarkable prediction of inflation. It provides both the smooth background and the seeds of cosmic structure. Thus, quantum physics, through inflation, plays a central role in cosmic uniformity. Example, tiny over- and under-densities in the early universe, measured via CMB anastropes, grew into stars and galaxies. Analogy, it's like gently rippling cream into coffee. Most of it is smooth, but the ripples leave just enough variation to create texture. Inflation doesn't just solve the horizon problem. It also explains why the universe appears geometrically flat in general relativity. Even small curvature deviations grow over time and less precisely balanced. Inflation smooths out any initial curvature, driving the universe towards spatial flatness, which is consistent with the observed uniformity in large-scale structure. Flatness amplifies the apparent smoothness minimizing variations in geometry. This dual solution makes inflation a compelling framework. Example, measurements of the angles in the cosmic triangle formed by distant galaxies show a sum of 180 deg, indicating a flat geometry. Analogy, it's like smoothing out wrinkles on a sheet by stretching it from all sides until it looks perfectly flat. Before inflation, the universe may have existed in a thermal equilibrium state at extremely high energy densities. In this pre-inflationary phase, particles and radiation could interact freely, establishing uniform temperatures. Once inflation began, this equilibrium state was preserved over vast regions as they were stretched beyond causal contact. The uniform CMB we observe today is a relic of this early thermalized state. It appears smooth because it came from a once equilibrated patch of space. Example, the CMB has a perfect blackbody spectrum, a hallmark of thermal equilibrium, measured with extreme precision by satellites like COBE and Planck. <laughs> Analogy, it's like freezing a pot of well-stirred soup mid-boil and then slicing it apart. Every slice tastes the same because it was once perfectly mixed. The speed of light imposes a strict limit on how fast information and energy can move through space. As the universe expanded, many regions became causally disconnected. Light hasn't had enough time to travel between them since the Big Bang. Without inflation, these zones should exhibit independent temperatures and properties, yet they don't, suggesting they were once connected. Inflation allows light and energy to interact locally before vast separation occurred. Example, two opposite sides of the observable universe are currently over 90 billion light years apart, yet they share a common thermal history. Analogy, it's like siblings raised in the same room who now live on opposite continents but still speak the same dialect. While inflation is widely accepted, some physicists have proposed alternatives, such as bouncing cosmologies or variable speed of light theories. 
These aim to solve the horizon problem without invoking exponential expansion. However, they often lack the predictive success and internal consistency that inflation offers. Some variants struggle to match CMD data or explain large-scale uniformity and flatness as naturally. Ongoing cosmological surveys and precision measurements aim to further test these competing models. Example, bouncing universe models suggest a prior contracting phase where uniformity was established before the current expansion. Analogy, it's like trying to explain a well-frosted cake without acknowledging that someone first baked and smoothed it. Data from the CMB, Barian acoustic oscillations and large-scale structure all support the inflationary model. These measurements show consistent statistical properties across vast cosmic distances. The power spectrum of the CMB matches predictions of inflation almost exactly, including the ratio of large to small scale fluctuations. This coherence over billions of light years provides robust empirical support for early cosmic smoothing mechanisms. Uniformity isn't just philosophical, it's quantified in precise spectral data. Example, the Planck satellite measured CMB anisotropies with Microkelvin accuracy confirming inflationary predictions with unprecedented fidelity. Analogy, it's like hearing the same melody from flutes, violins, and pianos in different cities, all playing from the same original score. Uh, the uniformity of the universe raises deep questions about initial conditions, fine tuning, and the nature of physical law. Why did inflation happen at all, and why with just the right parameters to allow galaxies, stars, and life to emerge. The smoothness we observe may reflect deeper symmetries in nature or multiversal selection among many possible inflating regions. Scientific theories must account not just for dynamics, but also for why the universe began in a low entropy, high uniformity state. Understanding this smoothness is central to unraveling the origin of cosmic order. Example. Some cosmologists argue that inflation selects for smooth universes in a broader landscape of chaotic beginnings. Analogy, it's like waking up in a perfectly clean room and wondering who tidied it before I arrived and why.